everyone, how are you doing? We're going to be talking about how can we reduce some of the bloat or some of the excess widgets that get loaded with Elemental that you don't actually need. Now, when I say bloat, I don't mean that in a bad way because I love Elemental and everything it has to offer. But maybe if you only use, say, five or six of the widgets, do you really need everything that comes with the system? And if you've got any, if you're struggling with any performance on your website, there's a great way of how we can reduce like totally remove some of the elements or widgets that you're not using. So this is completely optional. And what we're going to be using is the element. We're going to be using the Elemental Widget Manager. OK, so here we go. Uh, the web address for this page is going to be in the description over down there, or it will be in the comments as well. Or you can just do a search on Google for Elemental Widget Manager. Um, and Loads of people have done posts and videos on this before, so you'll find it quite easily. Um, what you want to do is when you come to this page, you don't need to worry about all of the information you see here. and You don't want to go to file. What you have to do is download it and then uh, install it as a plugin to your WordPress website. It's not at the moment available on your normal WordPress ad plugins, which is a bit of a shame, but I hope, I hope eventually it does end up there. What you do is when you get to this page, you go over here to the green button. You click it and what you want to do is you want to click download zip because what you're going to do is you're going to like download it and upload it because at the end of the day most plugins they're like a zip file anyway that you're installing into your machine so once that's installed go to your um, your WordPress or your website and go and install now before I do that I've just built here a very basic page with a header and an image because what we're going to do once we've uploaded it is we're going to say deactivate header and image. Why would you do that? Stupid. You wouldn't do that. But I just want to give you an example of if I deactivate them, they will no longer be available within my available widgets on my left hand side. But also, what impact does that have on the page? Now, technically, it should remove these items from working. But I just want to show you what happens. Right. So let's just go into. Let's hit publish first, by the way. So like, you know, like I just said, there's tons of tons and tons of widgets and I only use about six or seven because I like to be very succinct in how I build my websites. Um, and only if I really need, there's a need for a client to have something, will I add it? Right, let's go to plugins. And this is my test site, by the way. So if you see lots of plugins on it, just because I'm testing things out. So I'm going to click add new and we're going to upload plugin and it's going to be the one we just installed. So there we go in the download folder. We're going to click that and we're just going to click open. And then once that's done, we're just going to click install now. Pretty simple, really. There's not much thinking about it. Activate the plugin. Uh, and that's dead quick, you know. So I hit the green button. It took like a couple of seconds to download, depending on how good your router or your Wi Fi is. And then you uploaded it. So if I now go to Elemental Widget Manager, that is now installed. Right. So if we now go to Elemental, what you'll notice is we now have Widget Manager available. And you kind of go, whoa, what's going on here? That is what we're going to now touch. So we click that. And this is where we can now start to activate or deactivate items that we do or do not want. So I am going to, I and mean, I'm not going to deactivate everything, but I'm just going to show you if I take off the heading, so let's deactivate that. And let's deactivate image as well. Now, I'm not sure why we've got two images there. I have to be honest, that did, that does confuse me a little bit as to what is going on there. I'm just going to put it down to, well, I don't really know what that is, but I'm going to do both of them. And I'll see in a moment when it's gone away. And what we might as well do is while we're here, let's just take off icon as well. Let's take off the galleries. Let's take, what else can we do? Divider. And the other thing I know will normally be at the top, let's take off the uh, the spacer. And let's take off video as well. I'm trying to take off everything you normally see when you first go into Elemental right at the top. I'm not sure why we've got two videos there. I'm not entirely sure because really all this should be touching is the Elemental widgets. It shouldn't be touching any other widgets that come from any third party plugins. If it is, that's surprising to me. But anyway, right, so we have deactivated this and I'm just going to go to the bottom now. And right, there is no button there for us to kind of hit save. That's it. It is deactivated. You want to bring it back. You just hit activate. It's simple. Right. Let's now go to our page. And we'll go to the widget page. Because that's what it's called. It's the widget page. 
And look, my header and image has now disappeared. That's where the header was and that's where the image was. And look over here on the basic. They are gone. They are not there. Shape, uh, not shape, um, spacer, divider, video, image, header. You know, like, look, if I type icon, was it icon? Yeah, icon is gone. Icon box is still there, obviously, but icon is gone. And if I type gallery, because I undid it for quite a few, the basic one is still there, but the, uh, oh, that one's still there as well. I now can't recall it during, while I'm, this, while I'm making this video, did I take gallery off or on? But basically, when you take something off, it is now deactivated. And if I want to bring it back, I've got to go back into the widget manager and put it back in. And it will now be there for me. So when you start to see how many options there are here, hotspot, price table, call to action, flip box, media carousel. If I'm not using a lot of these, you know, like the share buttons or the table of contents or the countdown, the block code, you know, we could go on and on and on. Why don't you just deactivate them and not have them on your site? And when you do realize you need it, add it back in. Pretty, pretty simple. Okay, I can't say any more about that, really. Um, I haven't used this much, to be honest, but I do use it a bit more now on some other sites. So I strip things out, add things back in when I need it. Like, subscribe, and see you soon. Bye.